Intermittent fasting is a powerful tool for your health, especially if you're living with any form of diabetes. In fact, it's one of the four pillars of the Mastering Diabetes method to reverse insulin resistance, the underlying cause of blood glucose irregularities. But it can be daunting to try to understand and get started, especially at first. That's why we've put together this video to help you get an idea of what intermittent fasting can do for you. We'll go over what intermittent fasting is, what it does for your body, and why it can be so helpful if you're living with diabetes. And you'll wanna watch all the way through here because in terms of getting more bang for your buck, intermittent fasting might just be the most effective health strategy that you have at your disposal. Well, good question. Intermittent fasting is fasting, but not for extended time periods like you might see in religious fasting or water fasting. It's usually for about a day or less. Many intermittent fasting regimens follow a different pattern of fasting and eating. So some simple examples include a 16-8 daily intermittent fast, which is where you fast for 16 hours and then you eat within an eight hour window. The second one is the 24 daily intermittent fast, where you fast for 20 hours per day and then eat within a four hour window. The third is called alternate day fasting, which is alternate periods of 24 hours of eating with 24 hours of fasting. And the fourth is called the once per week, 24 hour intermittent fast, which is where you fast for 24 hours once per week. And then you just choose the same day every single week while you eat the other six days of the week. And this isn't just for fun. As a matter of fact, it turns out that your body has a biological adaptation left over from when we were hunter gatherers thousands of years ago. This biological adaptation called autophagy is what allows your body to continue functioning during extended periods of calorie restriction. Essentially what happens is that tissues say, okay, wait, we don't have any food for energy anymore. So let's start oxidizing some of the fuel that we have on board and recycle some of the dysfunctional material that may have accumulated over the course of time. And that dysfunctional material can include damaged protein, damaged lipids, and damaged nucleic acids, all three of which contribute to the process known as oxidative stress. For this reason, autophagy and intermittent fasting are actually incredibly good for you and tied to positive benefits like fat loss and healthy weight loss, improved cardiovascular health, reduced insulin resistance, and even improved immune function. First, Let's get into the reason that most people use intermittent fasting for healthy weight loss. Now, a lot of people choose to focus on just reducing calories and losing weight. And while that's a good idea, there are some benefits of intermittent fasting over a standard calorie restriction regimen. The biggest reason that intermittent fasting can be easier for you in the long term is because it will help prevent you from feeling excessively hungry for many hours. So you can think of it as though it's just psychologically and emotionally easier to intermittent fast than it is to be calorie restricted for long periods of time. For example, from this paper published in Current Diabetes Reports, quote, intermittent fasting is not only more acceptable to patients, but it also prevents some of the adverse effects of chronic calorie restriction, especially malnutrition, end quote. In other words, you are still getting nutrients regularly with short-term fasting, while someone who is majorly restricting calories might be missing them completely. And compared to longer water fasts, which can last multiple days and leave your body in need of key nutrients, you never have a gap of nutrition longer than a day. That's why some people theorize that the main reason for the success of intermittent fasting is that it is more acceptable to patients. Restricting calories constantly at every meal every day can take an emotional toll that isn't there during intermittent fasting. This is where you just miss one meal. And the results are there to back it up, showing that not only does intermittent fasting help reduce your blood glucose, but it can also help reduce your cholesterol and your blood pressure, and it also promotes sustained weight loss into the long term. So how does this play into diabetes? Well, in a few ways. First, According to some statistics, about 90% of people with type 2 diabetes are overweight, and this weight contributes to metabolic abnormalities that fuel diabetes. So if you can manage to lose weight, then you can lessen the severity of type 2 diabetes and in some cases, reverse it. Insulin resistance is the buildup of excess fat in cells that 
aren't meant to store large quantities of fat. This then inhibits the action of insulin. It's also the main culprit behind non-insulin-dependent type 2 diabetes and many complications in insulin-dependent forms of diabetes such as type 1. Now here's what we know about intermittent fasting and insulin resistance directly. Research documents that, quote, it demonstrates the effectiveness of therapeutic fasting to reverse their insulin resistance, resulting in the cessation of insulin therapy while maintaining control of their blood sugars. And that's a great thing. From the University of Alabama, this 2019 study fed pre-diabetic men with a six-hour window. In other words, they were eating an 18-6 fast and found that it reduced insulin levels, improved insulin sensitivity, and beta cell responsiveness. And for those with type 1 diabetes, that improvement in insulin sensitivity could mean lowering your insulin requirements, making it easier to achieve excellent blood glucose control, and lowering your long-term average A1C value simultaneously. And these are just specific studies that confirm something that seems like common sense. If you're losing healthy weight and giving your body the chance to burn through excess stores of fat, you're going to reduce your insulin resistance. So we've got a little bit into intermittent fasting, but there's a lot more to learn. And it's all worth learning because intermittent fasting is one of the most powerful nutritional interventions that you can implement today that has a profound impact on your metabolic health. Because intermittent fasting is such a powerful tool to improve your health, especially if you're living with any form of diabetes or cardiovascular disease, it's worth really understanding how you can implement a fa intermittent fasting regimen in your life today and how you can make that a consistent part of your overall lifestyle change strategy. That's why it's a core pillar of the Mastering Diabetes Method, which thousands of people have used to transform their health, reverse insulin resistance, and take control of living with diabetes. We receive new testimonials from our thousands of members every day. In this case, a private client told her coach that their fasting blood glucose readings have been under 100 and their blood pressure is normalizing. Remember, this is all happening for this member while they are eating the exact foods that are supposed to increase their blood glucose numbers, such as fruit, potatoes, whole grains. So if you want to experience these results, then we suggest you get the ball rolling by setting up a free discovery call. You'll speak with an enrollment manager on our team and they'll help you decide where to start. And don't forget to push that cute little like button with your thumb or with your mouse. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and by all means turn on notifications because when you do that and you click that little bell icon, then you're gonna be notified of videos when they come out in the future. Uh, we appreciate all your time and attention. We know you're looking for really solid information and we're here to provide you with evidence-based information about how you can change your life today. We'll see you in the next video.